Good afternoon. It's March 13. And uh, what a what a last 24, 48 hours with the whole USDC depegging. The market has recovered significantly uh, from that event. Uh, it is still Sunday evening in the US, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next several hours when banks open. However, let's have a look at the BTC chart. We'll start by that. And what I wanted to do in this video is recap the SNX BTC trade, have a look at Bitcoin, see where that's sitting. And then we'll go into the SNX BTC trade and go through the dollar cost averaging and everything went on in a successful trade. March 13, right. I've had uh, several so, or five successful trades, um, all sort of before lunch. Uh, each netting a return of 8.59 to 9% in profit. What we're going to do is we're going to go over the SNX trade, which is one that I highlighted in the video yesterday uh, regarding how to DCA and the tutorial on that. What we'll do though, we'll have a look at Bitcoin um, on the four hourly. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty impressive. Let's have a look at the four hour. Where did we go? So we had that big, big sort of uh drop down to 16 you know what was at the low and then we've moved all the way up we're at 22.3 after we had that significant drop uh a couple of days ago let's have a look at that when was that that was uh friday 10th of march uh when we fell from approximately 23.455 down to you know below 20,000, and then within you know 24 48 hours we're back up to you know, 15%, 22.3, which is looking good for the Bitcoin chart. Oh, okay. So now let's look at the SNX trade. Now, this is a trade that I took uh, on 9th of March. You can see I entered here uh, with my base order uh, around about here on the 9th of March in the morning, 7 a.m. And it has taken approximately, what are we at? You know, uh, four days to play out this trade. It finished this morning with a nice take profit. So what we're going to do is we're going to replay this trade and I'm just going to go through what the entry looked like, all my safety orders using dollar cost averaging and then the take profit order and where we exited the trade, which you can see round about here. On that basis, uh, we are going to kick off. What I might do is I'm going to remove some of these layers. And we can start from the beginning so everyone's clear on how the trade setup looked. So we'll start with the base order. So the base order started on the 9th of March. And uh, we started that with a base order of 1076, 0.000 0.0001076. Now this is a Bitcoin pairing, SNX against Bitcoin as the base. I only trade Bitcoin. Uh, I took this trade here at 1201 and entered on this candle on the one hourly chart. What happened from there is I put in immediately a base order and then all my safety orders. So I executed six safety orders all the way down to uh, 798. You can see down here. Now, if we replay what that looks like, and I'll go through the Excel spreadsheet, which covers um, the safety orders, what they look like. Uh, our base order went in, we took an order size of 0 0.001 uh, and then our first safety order at 3% from the previous order with a safety volume scale of 2 and a safety order step scale of 1.25. So we executed another 6 or 5 safety orders ready to catch this dip. Now we were lucky, we got down to where we, we tagged safety order number 4. So we got down to this mark here, safety order 4 which means when we got down to safety order four, our recovery or deviation to get back to our take profit was 13.69%. Okay, so 13.69% safety order four was around about here, our take profit. Now, because we entered our base order down here, as we came down and executed our other safety orders, our average price kept coming down. Okay, so... Therefore, once we hit safety order four, there wasn't as far to travel to be back in profit. And then we took profit at 104.3. So what I'll do is 
uh, replay this chart. I'll come back to here. It's where we took the order. Move that over. So we went in, we took our first safety order, came up, dipped down, second safety order, dipped down further, tagged our third safety order, came up a little, went down, tagged our fourth safety order. You can see there that we have taken our fourth safety order and now we're starting to, we're starting to wind ourselves out of the trade. Boom. Okay, we're out of the trade there. So let's mark that. We can see there, take profit around about here. Now you can say, well, why didn't we take profit up here? I have a fixed defined take profit of 8.5% for this strategy. Uh, and that is making sure that we're always going to take profit. That's probably a little bit of an outlier. We've actually formed support. Uh, we've found resistance at the top there. So it'll be interesting to see how this trade continues to play out. Where we're sitting we're sitting at 1291 so who knows it might break this level and then crack through however i'm comfortable always taking uh, a take profit at this amount so in summary safety order number four is what we hit there uh, so that means we deviated from our open order down close to six percent uh sorry our six percent below our previous order so from the, the deviation or the base order, we are down 17.3%. And the thing with uh, dollar cost averaging and Mandgar strategy is, although we went down 17.3%, in order to recover from that base order, we only need to come back 13.69%. So as we consume more safety orders, we're actually bringing down our base order. Down lower and lower and lower because we're increasing our volume and the distance from the previous order. So then when we need to recover out of this, uh, there won't be such a big issue. What I might do is just explain, uh, this isn't just uh, taken blindly. We have a set of indicators that we've used uh, using the QFL strategy to make sure that we successfully and always back test the information before we take a trade. So what the QFL indicator does is it looks at particular levels and when it forms a base of a particular trade and you break that base 3% under that particular base, it will execute and open a trade. Now the backtesting results are as follows for this particular SNX BTC. Over about a year is we've taken 42 trades, 100% of them have been successful. So even through a bear market, we're able to withstand um, the downside risk. I've had a max drawdown of 28.99. Now having a look at the spreadsheet, our max drawdown is 33.78. So we can get down to 33.78 before we have what is considered a red bag and something we have to work out of. Now of that, the uh, median or average for being in a trade is two days, 20 hours. Okay, so we're in there for uh, a small amount of time. We came out and we're successful with that trade. You can see some other statistics here about how many safety orders fill. So 12% of the time we get down to safety order four, which is where in this particular trade I got to. However, if we got down to safety order number six, you know, two of 79 trades, that's 2.53% of the time. You know, so two out of every or 2.5 out of every 100 times will actually, or 100 trades will hit that last safety order. So that's how we're able to produce, you know, 59% um, a compounding year on year growth with this particular strategy. So that's it and a wrap for this particular video. Thank you. Please remember to like and subscribe and follow the channel for more info.